Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing more about file handling and more exclusively the built-in functions that we could use in doing random access with file handling. So essentially in the beginning we used to use the header file which was known as input include a file stream. And when we used to include this, we used to unlock some kind of functionality for file handling. Like we used to manipulate files, text files all over the computer. So by using the input file stream, data type, or we used to use the other one was called output file stream, data type. And we used to manipulate by independently using input file stream or output file stream one at a time, not both all together. But there's another way to include file streams and that's called just simply saying file stream. So if I say file stream, this is gonna do both. We could access both of these instructions at the same time, but using some technique. So now we're gonna use this new file stream type where we could include both input and output processes. But we could do even more than that, not just input and output, but also other functionalities. And these other functionalities are gonna be listed below. So we could have something called iOS in. So first function is input. As we all know, we've been doing input. We're reading files and we're like counting how much text is in it or repeating stuff inside and doing manipulations to the text files. And then the other one was called output where we used to write and basically when you start output, it overwrites pre-existing data. And if it doesn't exist, it creates a new one. So be careful with this one. And then we used to have others like, uh, no, that was it with uh, sequential. But now with file stream random access, you get a little more, a, a boatload of more functions. One is called append where basically when you're opening a file and you're always worried about having everything overwritten this will prevent it and it will read the text file and then if you want to add something to the end of the pre-existing file this will do your job uh, it won't overwrite anything and it will add text to the document at the end so we'll check this out later and then after this there's even more files and one is called ate and this is called at the end so if uh, essentially it just goes at the end of the text file where the end of file marker is located and it would just return that as true and then there's others as iOS colon colon binary where it converts the text based document into a binary format where what computers basically understand and by default the file is always in text mode so this is going to convert in binary mode and then there's even more but out there well uh, right now, there's one that's called iOS truncate, and we we write iOS trunk. So this what basically does is just overwrites the pre-existing data in a file. Similarly, similarly to this output file, it has the same kind of function, but output is also used for creating files, but this is used for deleting them. So th these are like the basic one, two, three, four, five, six functions what we could use in random file handling. There are gonna be more possibilities out there on the internet, go search them for yourselves. So now let's get started. So the first thing we're, we're gonna do is uh, start by saying file stream. So I say file stream. And then after that, I wanna open it using some kind of data type. So this is basically the data type and then the variable. I wanna create a variable name. So I call it file. And to give you some kind of memory before like a flashback what we used to do was First, we used to have I file for input modes, and then we used to use O file conventionals. We could use anything else, but conventionally, we used to use the O file and I file for input and output, respectively. But for this, I'm using file. You could call it George, Bob, Bill, Clinton, whatever you want. Next, file, then dot, dot open. Put the double quotes inside and give a text file name. So I'm calling this as yolo.txt. And then after that, comma. And now we're gonna do something new. So the iOS colon colon what I was calling input, we use like this. Okay, so uh, this is just uh, my linting. What it does, it's, I really don't like that kind. So iOS input, it's an input mode. I gave a semicolon. And now I could like, uh, the first thing is that using a sense that I didn't even create a YOLO text file. So first I'm gonna have to use output mode to create it. So I create, I'm using output mode to create my YOLO text file. 
and now inside the text file I'm gonna have to do something so the basic thing what I want to do I just want to do something stupid like like just printing out some random numbers and I just love including this C standard library and the other thing what we need is the C time so get that too okay now you already know that C time is used for the random access yeah whatever so now after that it's open yolo.txt and I want to create a random number to it so I use a while loop and I want a while loop through it and I say while the file and then end of file is like the last character the file has right end of file so this is a function called end of file and you put these parentheses to make it known and well while it doesn't reach meaning this not operator means if it doesn't reach the end of file operator what you're going to do is you're going to uh, include some random so o file what the web file is uh now these are insertion operators and we say random function we call the random function by the c standard library it recognizes it and then modulo i put 10 so this is basically is from now you could guess it 0 to 9 and now if i want oops this is 9 and now if i want from 1 to 10 i just add 1 to this and it's going to add 1 to this too and then this is from 1 to 10 so it's going to generate a number from 1 to 10 and uh, i want it to like have an end line too so i say file and then end line and i also want my name or something like clever coding to be printed out so clever coding will be over here and of course we need a, uh, an end line or oh, i could just use an escape sequence right in here so that's also legal now what i'm going to do is oh yeah one important thing at the end was to close the file once you're done using it so this is a safe side and uh, i recommend everyone doing this you got the file which is file dot Oh, a file stream file so what I do is now I just name it and then I say close so C L O S E close that's it semicolon at the end save it and then now we're essentially gonna execute compile and run you're not gonna see anything on the terminal screen okay now what heck happened I've done something wrong what did I do with something wrong I've been doing this on the console and I didn't want to do it I wanted to do it in the file so i'm doing in the file now and hopefully this will work so i'm gonna once again execute and compile and run and uh, so after running the code i stumbled upon a logical error a logical error is defined as something that is based on some logic and my logic wasn't accurate for this kind of procedure what i exactly wanted to do it was uh, executing an infinite loop and that would never like uh, terminate it would go on forever until your storage consumes completely so for that safety i want what i wanted to do essentially was to put something over here instead of a while loop and uh, of not end of file because the text file is just started so how is the end of file gonna appear for that i'm gonna have some kind of user like input so i'm gonna say to something like console output and i'm just gonna say enter a number and then what what i want it to do is that it's gonna input a number so it's gonna input a num and we're gonna declare this number over here right here enter integer num and assign it to zero just to have not uh, a garbage free value and then after that while num minus minus so this indicates that if for instance if i have 10 over here and if it's 10 that means it's going to start from 10 and it's going to go from one time it's going to minus minus meaning it's nine then eight seven six five four three two one until uh, when it's one it goes one more time and then after one it's going to decrement in a post fix decrementation and it's going to do zero so when it's a while zero it's not going to execute because while zero means false so if it's false it's going to terminate and close the file so that was it with this program and now we're going to save and execute this so we're going to execute compile and run and this will say 100 and i'm going to say 100 enter a number 100 okay now it's done go to the place where your file is stored it's called yolo open it up and you could see over here 
clever coding two eight five and it's now it printed hundred random numbers from one to ten inclusive so hope you like this uh, small introductory to the random access and we're going to be continuing on in the next video